Hey everyone, guten morgen. Today we're gonna to be looking at a central tool that every BMW owner needs to have in their arsenal. And surprisingly, I've made it five years through this YouTube channel without owning a smoke tester. Yes, that's right, I've purchased, finally, a smoke tester kit, which I got on Amazon for about $75 or something like that. And today I'm gonna to be unboxing the smoke tester kit and demonstrate to you how it works. And this is essential for diagnosing the uh, classic lean codes that are common on all of these cars. In fact, my wife's X5 needs to be smoke tested. This E32 we're sitting in has lean codes. It needs to be smoke tested. And my E28 has a rough idle. That needs to be smoke tested. And come to think of it, my 335i has a boost leak and that also needs to be smoke tested. So basically this is a small paint can type of device uh, that has a heating element and you pour in mineral oil. It gets heated up until it begins to sort of vaporize into like a smoke type liquid that's totally safe for the intake of your engine. And you pipe that into the intake system and wait and then you look for leaks. This type of tool traditionally costs several thousand dollars for a professional grade smoke tester machine, but through some ingenuity over the past several years, uh, somebody has created a way to make their own DIY type of kit and we're able to benefit from that as owners by spending under $100 to buy our own smoke tester kit. So I'll show you the kit that I purchased. We'll unbox it today, install it in the car, and see how it works. Here is the AutoLine Pro service kit. We have some instructions. Here's some mineral fluid to create the smoke. This is the power supply an adapter and a marble to guide with the level of fluid that we pour into the can. Here's the port for the power supply. On one end we have a hose adapter for our air. We will need an air compressor and this is some kind of propane regulating valve to regulate the pressure that goes into this can. Inside you can see we have an element which will heat this wick as it soaks up the mineral fluid and it will pump, um, basically pump the smoke through this fitting and out of this hose which we can connect to our intake to check for leaks. Here's a closer look at that element and the wick. Here's our positive terminal, and we'll clamp this to the negative. We'll drop in the level marble. Let's take this air box out and we're going to put a rubber glove over the airflow meter inlet, cut a hole in one of the fingers, and then we can pump in our smoke through this way. Here's our glove. Let's cut off one of the fingers. We'll install this over the intake. And you can put zip ties around here uh, if you need to, to make it a tighter fit, depending on your application. And we'll connect the tester through the finger of the glove and zip tie it.
and we can see smoke is already pouring through this connection here on our hardened rubber intake boot. So it looks like this rubber intake is something that I'm going to need to replace next. I've already replaced this piece here, but it looks like we have some smoke leaking at this side connection right here. So the final diagnosis here, we had smoke leaking out right here through this intake boot, which is all hard and old. I've already replaced this with a new rubber piece right here, but right here it's deformed a little bit because of the age, and it looks like this is a source of an air intake leak. And I haven't seen any other smoke leaking from anywhere else in the motor, down here, around the gaskets or anything. So next uh, order of action is to replace just that intake boot. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was helpful and you want to help support more content like this, do me a favor and smash that like button below. That helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps support me make more content like this. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video.